I hate that I'm right in front of the sign. Like, what was even the point? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cat Chats. I can't believe I'm actually filming a video like this. I never thought in a million years that I would ever film a video like this on my channel. But I absolutely felt the need to film this video because I really want your guys' opinion. I want to know what the hell you guys think this is. I feel like I know what it is. I feel like it. it's very clear. But there are so many people in my life who tell me it's just dust. I mean, the majority of the people who are telling me this are earth signs. And they're non-believers. I even had a Capricorn tell me it was smoke. Smoke was more believable to them than an entity of- Oh my god, I'm getting so ahead of myself. Let me explain. Before I show you guys what I caught on camera or what I think I caught on camera, I gotta tell you the backstory. There is a whole story that I gotta tell you before I show you this video because then it might not make a lot of sense. So take a seat. Grab some popcorn, grab some wine, cause we about to talk some freaky shit. Not like sex freaky, that was, that sounded weird. I meant like, you know, like spirit freaky. So like I said, I never thought I would ever make a video like this, but it wasn't until I think I caught something on camera that I was like, oh my gosh, I have to show everybody online because I wanna see if there are people who agree with me. And normally I would dismiss something like this, but there were just too many weird things that were leading up to this video. Now, obviously you guys are just gonna have to take my word for it. These are just stories I'm telling you and stories that people have told me from being in my house. So I'm sure there's gonna be comments from a ton of people telling me that they don't believe me, that I am just making up stories for this video. I am not lying and I believe the other people in these stories now and I honestly have no reason to lie and like I said the only reason I am uploading this video is because I got video footage I think so to understand I gotta start at the beginning now I know I'm an Aquarius with a Scorpio moon so naturally I'm into the paranormal I'm into aliens I'm very spiritual I, I love learning about the other side I just I'm very into it I am very open to everything so yes that's very Aquarius -y and a very Scorpio -y of me but as you can see by my birth chart, I have a lot of planets in Capricorn. So therefore, I am extremely skeptical about a lot of things. I honestly don't believe anything anybody tells me ever. <laughs> it's actually really sad and really bad and I need to work on that. So when friends and family started telling me that they were like hearing things in my house, I was like... Because I personally had never experienced anything like that. To be fair, I have never in my life experienced anything like that. That's why I'm shocked that I'm sitting here right now to, I can't. Ever since I was a little girl, I always had friends who would like feel things and tell me that they would see things and I never understood it because I never saw anything. I've never seen a spirit. And although I never experienced anything like that, I always knew other people did. I've never been a skeptic about like spirits and the spiritual world. I, I mean, that's just what I believe. You guys believe whatever you want, but I definitely believe it's real and that spirits are a thing and that people see them and I believe them I believe people see them I just I've never had that experience which by the way I am very grateful for thank you well until the other night <laughs> so I moved into my house a couple years ago and I am the first owner of this house and you would think that you would be safe from the entities but no 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 that doesn't matter that doesn't matter and whatever it's been great love my home fabulous a few months into living here danny's stepsister and danny's stepmom started to notice things they have always been really intuitive people and they've experienced things like this in the past they started to tell me that they were hearing like a girl in my house and that actually never went away it didn't happen all the time but every once in a while they would tell me that they would hear certain things and that it never felt bad but that there was something here. And most of the time, every time they would hear something, it was coming from upstairs. So whatever, I didn't think anything of it because as long as I felt okay and I, I didn't feel like it was bad, I didn't mind. <laughs> then one day I'm in California and I travel to LA a lot for work. And whenever I am in LA, Danny's dad always comes and stays the entire time and takes care of the dogs. And then, you know, he like house sits and dog sits. And one day I got home from a trip and he was telling me he was inside Danny's office, which Danny's office is on the second floor, right next door. He was telling me he was in Danny's office, like on the computer, and all of a sudden, the lights started flickering on and off, like a bunch of times, and he flipped out. And let me tell you, he is a very, very strong, brave Aries. Very rarely is he ever phased by anything, and he flipped out. But we blamed it on electricity. We're like, oh, maybe the light is messed up in the room. We have to fix the bulb, whatever. There's always a logical explanation for all these things, of course. Then, this is the one that gets me. This is the one that 
really gets me. Danny doesn't believe, he really just doesn't believe in like ghosts or anything like that. And one day he's here by himself with his dad in his office. And I had left to go get a Pollo Tropical, which is like a fast food restaurant here in Florida. And I'm at Pollo Tropical and I call him and I'm like, hey, what do you want? He tells me his order, he tells me his dad's order, I hang up, whatever. When I walk into my house, like 20 minutes later, Danny is like pale white. He's like standing in the kitchen. And even Otelio is like freaking out. And I'm like, oh God. What the fuck now? So Danny and Natalia were in his office and he said that he heard the dogs walking around in front of our bedroom. Let me actually paint a picture for you so you know what I'm talking about. My second floor is small, it just has the bedrooms. When you come up the stairs, when you make a right, my bedroom is right there and it has like this little balcony area where you can see to the first floor. And then if you make a left, you see like my beauty room and Danny's office or whatever. He heard like the dogs walking around in front of the bedroom, like rocking in circles, like if they were like playing with someone or chasing someone. And then they said that they heard my voice. They said that they heard a girl talking to the dogs and playing with the dogs, but it was faint and they couldn't really tell what it said, but it sounded like a girl and it sounded like she was playing with the dogs and it was just for like a few seconds. And Danny says that he would have just let it go like, oh, something I'm hearing, but it's the fact that his dad heard the exact same thing. They both looked at each other and freaked out because it sounded like me, like it sounded like there was a girl in the hallway, but they knew I had just hung up the phone on them and I was at Pollo Tropical. So there was no way I had gotten home in two minutes. And as they're telling me this story, I'm just looking at Danny like, are you, si are you serious? Like, I couldn't even believe it. Danny would never, like, Danny has a logical explanation for everything. And at this point, I'm like, okay, clearly there's something here, something's going on. But as long as I know it's nice, like, I mean, she's playing with the dogs, you know? As long as I know she's cool, she can stay as long as she doesn't show herself to me or talk to me at all. I'm, I'm cool with it. Again, I didn't think anything of it. Until the other day, when I was filming a Q&A video, my most recent one that I uploaded on YouTube, and I swear to you, I heard a door swing open in my hallway. Actually, I'm gonna play that clip for you. Okay, if I sound like I'm out of breath during this video, that is because my heart is beating so fast right now, I think I'm gonna faint. I was about to sit down to film this video. I'm about to do a Q&A, by the way. Hi, hello. My beauty room door is closed. Everyone is at the warehouse packing up stuff for Lights Label. I heard a door open. I heard a door swing open out there in my hallway. And I looked on my cameras and all my doors are open, like the doors that I can see in the hallway. And then Celine heard it too. And she got up and she did that, like that dog, huh, thing. Like her ear went back, like that freaked me out. I don't know what that was. I mean, it was the door. I heard the door. I know what my doors sound like when they open in the hallway. It's. <laughs> Marisu, por favor, if you're here, please let me film my video. Come back later when there's people here. Okay, not today, not today, not today, not today, not today, not today. Ooh, let me take a breather. You know what? I don't have time for this. I'm texting Stephanie about my situation. And she's like, oh, well, you know, one time I was uh, in your house and I heard someone say, hi. That doesn't help me, Stephanie. No, no, no. When I heard it, she went, hi. <laughs> that was the first time I had ever heard something here to where it actually scared me, where I'm like, oh, wait. I heard a noise and I know it was in my freaking imagination. I heard a door swing open. And then Stephanie tells me that story where she was sitting in Danny's office. Me and Danny were like in the backyard or something. She was by herself using the computer and she heard somebody say hi, clear as day in her ear. And the crazy thing is that everyone who has told me stories about this, they have been in my house like by themselves. Either I've been in the backyard or I have been away and they are house sitting for me. It always happens when there's like one or two people in the house. It's never when there's a bunch of people here. So whatever, after the door swings open that day, I'm like, holy crap, am I starting to hear things too? I start to freak out a little bit. Whatever. Then my mom texted me not too long ago and I actually posted this on Twitter. I will put up the screenshot. She said, Mama, está aquí en tu casa. She was actually at my house. She lives like three blocks away from me and I had left my house, but I hadn't returned yet. And she texted me, hey, like, are you here? And I was like, not yet. And she said, oh my God, Mama, yo te escuché aquí. Oh my God. I just heard your voice here. She wrote, Hace rato, fíjate que Danny bajó ahora y yo pensaba que estabas con él en la oficina. She pretty much says when Danny went downstairs and she realized Danny was by himself, she freaked out because she thought she heard my voice. Like she thought she heard us talking to each other in the office. And I wrote, LOL, nope, I'm not home. That wasn't me. She said, yo te oí clarito que entraste era tu voz. Like I heard you in the other room. So that shit really freaked me out because that's like the second person to tell me that it sounds like me, which is really weird. But anyway, so then that happens and it makes me start to pay attention to my surroundings a lot more. Let me explain something about Porter. 
Porter never leaves my side. Porter's literally right in front of me, curled up in a ball. I mean, all the dogs are. But even when the dogs are roaming the house and hanging out, Porter is by my side 24 seven. He's one of those like really needy Yorkies. And I started to notice that when I would edit my videos and my door was open, he would just start walking up and down the hallway, like a little crazy dog. In circles, like if he's chasing someone or following someone. The more that I notice this, it doesn't happen every single night, but it starts happening like two to three times a week now. And I'm like, what is he doing? Why is he walking in circles out there in the hallway? It's so weird. So I start to watch him in the cameras, right? I'm like looking at him through my cameras. I have a camera that sits right on top of the hallway and I'm actually gonna play this for you just so you can see what I'm talking about. See, this was on May 28th. Okay, the room at the end of the hallway where it has like that chair, that's Danny's office and he's currently in there. Like in this, when you're watching this video, he's in the office and he's playing Xbox and I am in my beauty room, which is the room that's shining bright when I'm sitting there and I'm editing a video. And as you can see Porter, he's just like walking around but I don't know if you notice he keeps like smelling the ground sniffing the floor and then like looking at something and you can see here when he goes down the freaking hallway okay look at him look 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 it's gonna happen right now he passes the door and he stops he looks around which is crazy because all that there is there is a freaking chair and then he comes back and notice him how he he's about to like go into my room or go into Danny's office but then he curves around and he comes back and then he like looks back. It's very strange, he never does this. I would be like, oh, he's just, like walking around the hallway, it's not that serious, but he never freaking does that. I'm watching him in the cameras and I'm like, okay, I think something's there, even though I can't see it, I can't feel it, I can't hear it, I think something's there and Porter's like playing with it. I, I, I really start to believe it at this point and I'm fine with it. Well, biatch. My board just fell back. The board that I always keep behind me, like that I write little messages on, it just like fell but I'm pretty sure it's because I like hit the thing and like made my floor vibrate. I finally became a full-blown believer the other night. Oh my God. All right, so this story, this one's, this one's crazy and I can't believe it's coming out of my mouth. I can't believe, who am I? So it's a typical night here at my house. It's just me and Danny home. Whenever I'm editing at night, Danny's always right across the hall and I go downstairs to the kitchen and I open my phone and I start telling a story. I think I'm telling my sister a story. I forget who I was talking to, but I was recording myself and I was cracking up. Like the story I was telling, I thought it was so funny and I was legit like laughing my ass off as I'm telling the story. Then as I'm telling the story, I walk into my living room and you can see the upstairs from my living room downstairs because like I told you, I have that little balcony area, that little balcony hallway area in front of my bedroom. I'm downstairs and I walk into the living room and I'm like laughing and when I'm done, Laughing. I shit you not. I hear this. <laughs> I swear. Just like that. <laughs> just like just like that. Just like that. And I heard it coming from that area right upstairs. I have like a mini panic attack and then my initial reaction is to look up to see who the hell is laughing at me or laughing with me. And when I look up, I don't see anything. Like I and I'm really trying. I'm like, show yourself for I'm looking, I don't see anything. So immediately my logical mind is like Bitch, you are hearing things. And I go to walk back into the kitchen, and when I walk into the kitchen, I heard the upstairs crack, like if somebody was walking on the wood. In that same area that I heard someone laughing. I heard like someone take two steps. You know like when somebody walks on wood, the little I heard that. And my immediate reaction was, oh my gosh, that's Cornelius, that's Celine, that's someone, because I know Danny's in his office sitting down. And then I look right in front of me and I notice that all three of the dogs are with me, so it couldn't have been the dogs. And I flip out. I like run outside in my backyard and I collect myself. I'm like, okay, calm down, relax, relax, relax. I'm outside for like five minutes after it happens. I go upstairs, I convince myself I'm crazy. I go upstairs, I start editing my video. And while I'm editing my video, I see Porter leave the beauty room and he starts doing that thing again. Walking around in circles. And something tells me like, okay, you need to look at your cameras because like you heard something five minutes ago. Like, I know you're telling yourself you're crazy, but just, just, just go look at the cameras. I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about this because I cannot believe that this even happened. Okay, so I go to look in the cameras and I'm watching him and right as I'm about to like exit so that I can start screen recording on my phone because I look at the cameras through my app and right as I'm gonna exit so that I can start screen recording, something tells me like, no, just keep watching the camera. Like I just, I dismissed the thought 
of screen recording. I'm just letting myself see what the hell's going on live, whatever. In that exact moment, I couldn't have been watching the camera for more than two minutes. Like, I never sit there for hours watching the camera. Like, whenever I go to see what the hell a porter is doing, I'm watching for like a solid three minutes max, and then I just exit because I never see him do anything. He's just walking in circles. So I was honestly looking at the camera, I shit you not, like two minutes when I catch what appears to me. Now, I could be freaking crazy. But I catch what appears to me to be a floating orb. It like appears out of fucking nowhere. It appears out of thin air and it kind of like glides across the screen and then disappears right in front of my bedroom door. It starts like at the edge of the balcony and it just like trails into like my bedroom and you can kind of see like the little trail behind it like this like that's a little orb that's like that's not dust that is mari su and so okay you can imagine i just see this live in front of me like on the cameras i run into the hallway into danny's office and i'm like you need to rewind the cameras right now because i'm pretty sure i just saw something on the cameras so danny rewinds the cameras on my app and then i screen record it and me and danny start examining this video because when i tell him he's like sure you saw something on the cameras okay you saw something on the cameras and then when he rewinds it and he sees it he's like nah 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 that's dust that's dust but i feel like it's too big to be dust it's just like a it's too weird to be dust. And so Danny starts like zooming in and slowing down the video and immediately he's like, oh my, I think you did catch something. I can't believe it. I'm gonna play this video for you and I want you guys to be honest with me because I'm honestly open to anything. If it is dust, okay, shit, it's dust, good, great. But I want you guys to look at this with an open mind and just imagine it. I'm gonna, it's three seconds. I mean, like the little orb doesn't even pop up for three seconds. It's like literally for a second. But the video that I'm gonna show you is only three seconds. Pay attention because it goes by fast. So it's it's like in the middle of the screen. Okay, let me play it. Did you catch that? Did you catch that? Okay, okay. I'm gonna play it again. Okay, so we're gonna dissect this right now. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna show you because I spent all day watching this over and over and over and over and over again, zooming in, zooming out, because I just, I wanted a logical explanation for it, but I can't find one. Okay, look, watch it, watch it. Do you see how it just like, comes out of nowhere and then disappears. Okay, let, let, let's see that again. I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna do it slow, just like that, okay. That is so crazy to me. And you can see it has like the little trail and it just like disappears right when it goes into my door. I'm gonna rewind it now. So you can see it's coming back. Do you see the little trail? And look, I'm gonna pause it right there. It's a perfect circle. It's like, it just, it, appear, it legit appeared out of nowhere. What is that? How do you explain me catching that on camera? Like within two seconds of me jumping on the cameras like me and Danny were talking about this and it's like how many how many of these have we missed? We never sit there and like legit watch the, the hallway unless there's like a reason unless we feel we have to and I just opened my camera and within a minute I saw that pop up and I almost feel like I was meant to see that because it's I can't believe I caught that. 10 minutes before I had caught that on camera, I was telling Danny that I heard someone laughing and that I heard footsteps and he was like And it's like how can you not believe me if you literally heard somebody playing with the dogs and then I catch this I I don't know what to say. I don't do these paranormal videos. So this one was all over the place um, I, I didn't have any spooky sounds, but I don't I don't have anything else to say like this is my story Did I catch Marisu on camera or did I catch Marisu on camera? I don't know. But after that happened, the next day I woke up and I became a crazy person, started researching how to help entities cross over and go where they need to go um, so that they are no longer here. And I have saged, I have talked to her, I told her it's okay, it's time to go home, look for the light. That's the end of this video and that's pretty much the story about Marisu. It's been an ongoing story for the past like two years now. I'm sorry I made fun of you, Stephanie. Sorry I told you no one would ever say hi in your ear like that sorry yeah this is where the story ends uh there will never be a part two i will never become a paranormal channel i will not talk about these things on my channel so i don't want you guys to get any ideas i am not a winchester this isn't an episode of ghost facers i am ending it here 
So I actually forgot to mention this in this video, but I've been talking about Mari Sue for quite a while now. This is actually a clip from a video that Jessie posted on her channel when we were doing the Urban Dictionary video, and I was talking about Mari Sue, and this was like February of last year. Also, ironically, I am wearing a Supernatural shirt here. <laughs> Did you see that weird thing that just came up on me? What was that? Was that the screen or our eyes? No, that was... It wouldn't be our eyes if we both saw it. Do you think it was a ghost? Do you have a ghost? Yeah, Marisu. I was only my Marisu. Oh, girl. Are you having? No, I'm dead serious. We got Marisu up in this bitch. <laughs> I'd like to think Marisu is now on the other, on the, on the, over there. With the light and the peace. Porter's gonna miss you in your late night walks in the hallway. Um, but it's time. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment down below letting me know if you think it is entity, dust, or smoke. Leave your guesses down below. Until next time. But until next time. Yes. No! Next time. Oh, you got something in your mouth? Nah, nah, that's smoke, that's smoke.